Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are doing uh, Roxy's weekly challenge. So for this one you will need a um, maybe a little bit of just um, plain fabric. These are just, these were actually the bases that are left over from when I made the medieval mirage covers and I told you that two of them I didn't, I just laid the fabric on top to get the side and I didn't actually stitch through this because it was um, too many layers. So um, I still have those. I'll keep, probably keep one just as a reference if I want to make more of those journals. And um, I'll need to put that somewhere that I remember. And so this one, I'm going to do some stamping on it. And um, so you're going to need some ink and some stamps of choice. I've got some script, scripty sort of stamps and ornamental sort of stamps um oh this one I, I don't think i've even ever used that one we'll see how that one goes and we're going to make some um sort of fabric tags but combined with paper so i also have some really old um ruined rag paper some of my 1600s wormy paper and we're just going to see what happens so um some of them i some of them I may um, start with the base. So let's just do a bit of stamping. And then some of them I may stamp when they're on the tag. Does that make sense? So let's, you put a nice um, amount of book pages underneath. And that way it's kind of, it's not as hard as what that is. And I'm just going to choose a few different colors. I don't know if there's much left in this one. We'll try it. And I'm just going to do my stamping. I'll make a bit of noise because I'm bit vigorous because I'm trying to make sure I get enough ink on and it's always good to have maybe have a few bits and pieces stamped and ready to go I think so let's see how that's stamped oh perfect so I'm going to do another one of those I absolutely love that stamp um, the majority of my stamps are you the my favorite stamps are by Makey Stamps M-A-K-I on Etsy and they also have their own website so you can buy from either or. Um, and I just love them. I'm going to just do another one. No, I might change. I might just grab a wet one and wipe it off as I go. Because then I might decide to do a different colour. So we'll start off with the stamping. And um, I think I mentioned this the other day. Uh, oh, not everybody watches the um, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So... Um, do, let's do brown first and then we can go into the green. Or maybe this is the new one. I think this might be a new one and I got rid of the ones that didn't have much ink left. That might be what happened. Who remembers? Um, yeah, when you're stamping on fabric, you don't want a really coarse linen or um, hemp because it, the, it won't be so well defined. You need a finer woven fabric it doesn't matter if this is a oh gosh oh. Mm, I got a little bit of ink on my t-shirt good thing it's only a you know it's not it's only a stay at home t-shirt there we go so they're not always going to be perfect stamps but it's okay because they're only going in the background right put that one over there and let's change color I'm going to do this one in a green I've already got ink all over my fingers. So how is everyone? I hope you're well. I'm not going to stamp it all because I did have another method of making them, but I'll have a few bits so I can just muck around, ready to go. Oh, lovely. I'll do another one of those. To remember i can always go and grab some more fabric i have heaps when i cut up um the vintage embroideries i always keep the because the you know the fabric is nice quality so i always keep the bits that don't have embroidery on them okay that'll do for that one just give that a wipe even though that stays on that one it doesn't wipe off very much but I wiped a bit off and I will just put a little something in here and here and then I think we'll get cracking I've got a few ornamental ones here oh 
Oh, that's the new one. I think this is the old one. So I think this is the one that doesn't have much ink. So I'll put that one aside. I see I didn't throw them out. I'm going to, I might even do a little bit of Christmas. So um, let's do this blue. I haven't used this blue for a while. It's, a, it's quite pale. that blue that one is called cornflower blue and it's by ranger anyway i think that'll do for the moment and then we can, so we just can get cracking with the project but first i'm not going to start with those i'm going to start with um oh, fabric scissors oh there they are i'm just going to rip a strip oh, it tears nicely and I'm going to tear it again because I'm going to use it to make some tags. And inspiration for this really came from my mum when she made her document journal, um, which my sister and I were, we love absolutely. Like every time I go there, I photograph it. I've, I mean, I've already photographed it a million times, but I photograph it again. Um, and my sister and I were highly entertained because, as I've told you before, mum glued in her tags because she's not using it. She glued in her tags because they kept falling out. And I know I've told you all that before, but honestly, I just remember my sister doing the video, and I know some of you remember it, and her trying to pull the tags out, and she's like, oh, I think mum's glued these in. Because <laughs> mum never made a journal before, and I mean, she's not using it. So I'm gluing this onto fabric, so I think I'll get my... Um, well, that's not mushy, that one. But anyway, my Giotto glue is really good for gluing fabric and paper together. I prefer a glue stick for this sort of thing rather than a wet glue because then it's going to be all soggy. So I'm going to put this on here. Like so. You probably think I'm totally weird. And this bit, I'm just going to fold well, no, I don't think I need to fold it up. I'm just going to leave it like that. We don't want those bits. And we certainly don't want any... I better get a clean one. Any glue on the back. I must remember to buy another pocket. I'm only halfway through, but they're very handy things to have. Let me just get the glue off the back. Okay, so I'm going to choose a stamp. Nope. First, I'm going to glue some paper on there, I think. Some book page. Let's see. Let's take a piece of... This one's a bit stronger. Let's do this one first. I can't actually remember. I did make one up when I was watching. Not watching. I was looking at... Oh, this is such strong paper. I don't even know how it got ruined. It's really hard to tear. Um... I can't remember how I did my made my sample, but anyway, we will persevere. I think I'll put that there. So again, I'm going to use the nice grungy piece of paper, Giotto glue stick. Oops, I think that one's finished. So one side will be for writing because we like them to have a purpose. Sometimes that they can, it's just nice for them to be decorative like this. I think maybe we'll just prepare a few bases. Something's slipping. I think we're going to prepare a few bases before we finish. So there's always the anticipation of uh, what is what is going on, really. That one I'll glue on there. I think that's pretty much finished that. So I can put my glue on here because they're the same size. Oh, I need to glue it that way. Plenty of glue needs to go on. But they turn out very pretty, I think. And of course there will be, although I'd have to think of them, there'd be plenty of variations that you could do. I love 
this old piece of paper even though it's got nothing on it I think I might put I think I'll put that there like that So you might have one of those, I can't remember what those glues are. Um, there's Fabri-Tac and there's another one that's good, or tacky glue that dries quickly and have a nice applicator that you don't put too much on. And then, um, and then you can, let's use one of these. You can, what am I trying to say? Let me just tear this off. Um, let it dry. Put it, oh yeah, have a nice applicator that you, you know, it doesn't um, take too, you know, put too much on. So then it doesn't take too long to dry. I can't get my words out. I'm, I do apologize. Um, I may only want, I want to do little tags. This is going to be little tags. So take that off. I'm going to find a paper to put it on. Actually, look at my wormy paper. If I fold that onto itself, how's that going to go? Not too well. Okay. With this, I'm just going to grab, not this glue, the other glue. Have to be just a little bit careful with this paper because, see, it rips because you get caught up in the worm tracks. I'm sorry if it grosses anyone out. It doesn't gross me out because it's very old. It's from the 1600s. So how could it gross me out? It's just wonderful. I find it wonderful. Who knows what it's seen, what things it's seen, this paper. It's definitely seen the worms. Now, I have glue everywhere. So what I do is rip all these bits off. Excuse me, get off my finger. Paper, go away. It's like telling, telling a naughty child to go away or, or, or a naughty dog. Okay, take that piece off with the big chunk of glue and just use this to smush it down. Okay, you probably think I'm totally weird. So it's still transparent there, but anyway, let's grab the ruler and things are in my way. Honestly, they are. That, I'm going to go and put that in the plastic rubbish afterwards. I do do that. I chuck them in my bin and then when I'm throwing out the rubbish, you know, like going to throw out the paper rubbish because normally, in theory, it's only paper. I do fish out the, um, the glues I might have thrown in there. There we go. Now, I'm going to glue this on here and that's going to be the front of my tag and then I'll tear it down I'll tear it off so with one type we're going to um, stamp when it's on the tag this one is already stamped so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to embellish hopefully I put enough glue I might just put a little bit here as well just to be sure just for good measure that on there. And tear. It's pretty raggedy, so we need to tear. Okay, we'll put that aside ready to go. And I think we'll do another one. I don't think I don't I don't think I want to keep that bit, the lacy bit. So that'll come off, but let's see what else do I have? I think on that one I might put, I might make a tall tag. I'll take that bit off. So I'm going to put a bit longer piece of fab fabric on it. Now you do become a little bit sticky and things stick to you. So you just have to be patient with that. I am going to take some off. So I think I'll keep that amount. Everything gets so sticky so fast. there oh, it is a little bit but it will be fine so I'm going to put plenty of glue on here it's 
So my daughter, Lulu, has introduced me to the world of um, those very quick videos. Like she first, start, I think she started seeing them first on TikTok. I don't have TikTok. Um, and she she started, you know, she, she'll see like um, one of those less than a minute videos um, of people showing how to make food. Now that was quite tough to, to tear. Um, you know, making, like making something like doing potato rusties or I don't know, some sort of Indian dish or all kinds of different things. And, um, and so then, then, so then she would send them and then she started sending them on, on Instagram because they, they, they do go on Instagram as well. And I'm going to use this as my base. And so now I see, get, I'm um, sent them all the time on Instagram, um, recipes, but I tell you what, there's some good recipes there. I, I did one yesterday. Um, you boiled like little, um, I don't know if they were baby to you know new potatoes or baby i think we call them baby to potatoes do we in, in australia i can't remember but they're new potatoes um and and they um so they and they got were boiled and then um boiled and then now i don't want this too big actually and then and then put on the baking paper and then squashed down with a glass so they splayed out and thinned out so they were pretty boiled so they're mushed but they still had their skin on and then put salt and olive oil on and then you roast them in the oven and they become little flat crunchy potato things really yummy Lulu sent me that and we made them last night my father-in-law came over because my mother-in-law's gone off to see her friend down the coast in in the market I think I'm going to put that there now I might put it up higher and then something else will happen. I just love, one of my favourite things is to combine paper and textiles. So, um, yeah, it's, I, I do really enjoy that. It gives me great pleasure. And I don't do it often enough. I think that's why I enjoy looking at Mum's um, journal that she made. Because... Um, I may read when I go home if I remember. Girl, guys, remind me. Um, I may um, do a flip through on my channel too because Sarah did it quite a few years ago now. Oh, maybe last year. I'm going to put that there. Even though it's got holes in it, that is going to be the writing side. I'm 16. Whoever gets this in, I'll take that bit off because that's very lacy. Um, gets this. It's 1600s, this paper that you can write on. How about that? Otherwise, it would just go in the bin because it's all lacy with the, the worm tracks in it. It's very clean. It's clean paper. This is not so clean, but that one is. Now, one of the dealers was telling me, which I found interesting, was um, with, the, with the little bookworms, so they actually do exist, um, they were telling me that um, the worms... I think I might put that piece on a bit like a jigsaw puzzle there, like so, yes. Um, that the worms really like to munch on the the part where there's no ink. They do go in between the lines and some. Uh, they do get the parts where there's ink, but the majority of the damage in the books is always around the border where there's no ink um, and in the spine. So I found that really interesting. And they don't particularly like the 1900s books. A few of them might have been attacked, but not many. So that was also quite interesting to me. Um, I didn't know those things. And let's see what else we have here. I'd like to do this one again because I may even do... I'm not going to tear it. I may even do a... Um, of Christmas ones because we need to start building up the Christmas fun and I wouldn't even mind I don't know how much time we have I wouldn't even mind see how I tear I tear to get the maximum that I can with my strips you know I t try to tear off pieces that I can use again so tearing is really great because especially if you don't um, cut straight which is my in my case um, it kind of goes straight and it also gives it that nice frayed 
sort of look, even though the frayed bits can be a bit annoying at times. And then I'm going to tear this piece off. And I'll use those, but I won't throw those out because I'll use them. Not that it's precious fabric or anything like that. It's just in the spirit of using it all. Now, this I want to tear pretty close to it. These are great for at the top of tabs, these little things. At uh, top of tags, I want to say. Let's tear this down there. Yep, keeping all of that. I don't even mind if it has a little bit of stamping on it. I'm having too much fun tearing, you know. It's quite a lot of fun. Now, the only thing about this one is it's sideways. Why does this fabric tear nicely? Because quite often when you're like tearing a little strip off, it's quite hard because it's only a little strip. Okay, I'll stop mucking around and get going. So we've got a few bases here, but we'll make a few more. So basically I just started, like I could even use some of this paper. I just started playing with it. It's a bit sticky though. I might go grab a dry one. I've got a dry one over here. It's actually quite nice, this paper. It's got little lines in it. So I might make... I don't want them to be so wide, so I want little tags. I even might tear that one in half and do two little tags. So, oh, I know. I'm going to glue that on there. Actually, I'll glue it that way. And you'll see what I'll do next. It's always good to pull out our stamps and have a bit of fun. Glue that there, and I think I'll glue this one up there. We'll do two. Two for the price of one. The only thing I dislike about gluing and fabric is I do get the threads all stuck to my fingers. And it makes me go a little bit bonkers. Okay. Now, I'm going to tear down the middle. Because this is 1900s paper. You don't have to have like all super old pieces of paper. See, that can be used for another one. And then, same here. And then this I'm going to fold over like that. And because it's 1900s paper, it did crack. So it doesn't matter if it's going to be glued down. Oh, I probably should use my other glue so I don't use up this one. There. And the same here. Okay. They're going to be two little tags. They're going to be stamped on. Oh, I'm feeling a bit hot. Hmm. Now, here. I'll put that there. Just whizzing along here. And you can stitch around with your sewing machine if you want to, but if you use a good glue, you really don't need to. I think I might put that there, although I would have preferred it. Oh, itchy. I might put one of those here. Let's put a bit more glue there. Okay, and I 
might put something on this one as well. That can go at the bottom of that one. I just like to add, oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, oh, that ripped. Oh, that's so pretty, I'll keep that. Look at that, very nice. Okay, and I want a little piece for this one. Put it oh I think I'll put it up the side I'm using the Giotto glue stick because it's I'm, I'm gluing it to fabric so if you don't have any digitals um, you could embellish these with something that you've cut out of a decorative paper or like if you've got a flower book with flower illustrations or butterfly book you can decorate with those sorts of things. You don't have to have digitals. I'm going to use digitals, of course, because I like them. Um, but yes, just for those who don't use digitals, you don't have to have them if you don't want them. Now, on the back, I will put something plain, but I probably won't do that right now. Here, I'm going to glue onto the piece of paper just so I can get enough. doesn't matter to me which way is the oh yes it kind of does I think I'll make sure I do because you can just see it on the edge there now we'll have a bit of extra glue along the side there just take off some of the stickiness okay let's find some other paper I have this old piece of ledgery paper so that one could go on the back and might make some sort of journal card so but let's put some book page as well so I might I do love these papers First, I'll glue this onto the ledger paper. So this is just going to strengthen it a little bit in areas. And then let's glue this on. So you can, you know, mass make prepare your bases this is what we're doing do your stamping prepare your bases don't stamp them all because some of them you might want to stamp on the thing which is what we're going to do um, and then do the decorating at the end I'll put that there so it's not all lined up down one side okay so that's going to be a journal card and we'll do I think I had another one of those here We'll do something similar with that one, but maybe we'll use this paper. Poor paper. I'm just going to tear it where the, the wormies have been. So I'll keep those. I'll put those in journals. And that's a nice plain piece of paper, so we'll keep that. Put those over there. Okay, and then I think we'll start finishing them off a little bit. Even though I've got one more, I think, just to glue, I won't. I only let, left myself a few plainer sort of ones. 
this I'm going to wrap around like so. Get as much glue on there as I can. And it covers it up, but not that. There we go. Okay, so let me just clean off my fingers. And then we just need to find a focal point for these. So I do also have my Christmas papers flying around. We're going to put them over here. Um, we don't want anything big because we don't want to cover it all. We'll take that. I've got multiple printouts of things, of course. Um, oh, let's try. I'm not going to do all Christmas. I really like that. I think I'll put Santa. Now I'll put Santa down a bit. It does cover up most of the stamp, but you can see a bit of it behind, and that's really all I need for this one. Actually, I might put this one on this this one, and that one I'll do non-Christmas. Let's put Santa. Oh yes, this is better because you get to keep a bit of everything. I love that. And it's not finished yet. We'll finish it afterwards. We're going to do just putting on the focal point. So there I said I'm not putting on Christmas. I'm going to go over into my Victorian fussy cuts and just see what fun little things I can find in here to put on there. I think I want something vertical. Maybe that one. Just a little something like that, maybe. Just double checking. Yes, I think maybe that one, not that one. finish it afterwards. I'd like to put it over there but she's facing, I kind of want her facing into the tag or the journal card so that's that. Super cute. Now we have these two. Let's work on two at a time. Actually there's the other one similar to that so just a minute we'll grab this one not that one. See what works best. Oh these ones I need to stamp on. So I'm going to stamp didn't even I won't even need all nearly all the stamps at all that I brought over put those there they're not finished yet I wanted this is that the brown yes I'll do one brown
here. I like that. See, that's the thing. If you stamp it on afterwards, you also get the stamp on the paper a little bit. I'm going to use a different stamp. Let's see. I have them up here. Is that one? No, I want... Oh, well, I could do that one. No, I want one that covers it more. These are Tim Holtz. Those, I don't know what they're called. Just a minute, I'll bring them over. These ones. Fragments. I want a bigger fragment. They don't stick. I need to, what do I need to do? I need to wash them with the soap and water. This one I want to use. So it's too big. So I'm just going to have like a bit there. Now, Tim Holtz stamps are quite expensive. The stamp is anonymous. Um, so I just buy them a bit. Of, and I need to put white, white, you know, not white paper, but, you know, writing paper on there. But I'll do that off camera. We don't need to see that. I'll probably just use the new background kits or something. And that'll give us a nice background. So I'll just clean those off. Where's the other one? Hmm, like you can answer me. Anyway, I'll put that. Oh, it's over there. Give that a wipe. I feel like I'm working at a very slow pace today. Right, put that over there. Let's get on to it. So, to decide what to put on here. Oh, I'll do one Christmas. So let's see, I need something small, which is kind of hard, isn't it? Because they're not that small. Oh, and where are my little scissors? I didn't put those away yesterday. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to be printing out this page multiple times because these little pieces are really useful. Oh, I love that. That's going to go on there. Yes. Okay, cute. Okay, let's just grab this. Put that over there and then Okay, so we've done a Christmas and I want to do a non-Christmas. Let me just cut this out. I always just snip off what's in my way. And no, I don't want that one. So I think that one was by itself. I'll just put that there. Yeah, these little, um, little, what are they called? Um, <laughs> having a blank. Um, Victorian ones are quite nice for this. That's who I want on there. I think I like the blue and the brown together. That's what it is. Well, that's lucky because it was, I was thinking I'm going to take a while to decide this one. She's just going to go off centre. Okay, put that one aside. Sometimes it's just really useful to have these little taggy things 
ready to go. Now this one I think I might put a little bit of, I'm going to put this, excuse me, come out piece, a little piece of this red, it's a dark burgundy red Florentine paper. And I glanced over there and I think I thought I might like to put Santa on this one. Oops, 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 dropping all my stuff. Let's make sure everything's stuck down. Yes, 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 I think I'm going to like this. Absolutely, yes. I'll put him over there a little bit, I think. It's the season when I'm in quite a mess because I've got Christmas out, I've got other things going on. So it's, I just I'm, I'm, feel like I'm in a permanent state of mess. Oh, I just love that one. That, I mean, they'd be lovely just as they are. You don't even have to put anything on them if you don't want to. But I, I do I do like a little something. Let's just see. I, th I think I'm liking the little, little um, figures more than... That's quite pretty. I think I'll put that there. I was saying I like the little people on there quite a bit, but I think I like that one there. Because I don't want to cover it all up. I think that's really pretty. See, it's quick. And of course, I haven't put anything on the back yet, but that'll happen. Then I've got the, those two I need to stamp on. Let's see what's left. It's one, two, three need stamping, and that one doesn't need stamping. So let's look at these two. See how quickly you use up these these um little fussy cut sheets. Oh, I love that. Now, do I want a little bit of something behind it? Just another paper. I'm thinking I might like... Where are they? Hmm. I had my background papers, not my... Um, light ones, the other ones somewhere. I'm sure I had printed out a whole lot. Well, are these the ones I showed you, you guys? I think they are. So they're not there. They were in another pile. Oh, here it is. This is what I want. This paper, one of these papers, it doesn't matter which one. Not too much of it, just a little piece somewhere.
just a peekaboo of it. Oh, a really a real little peekaboo. Maybe I'll move my boat up. There we go. Now, what's next? Of course, we could have a flower on there. Just something like that, just that. Like my other flowers, the other fussy cut flowers, but anyway, I liked this one, so I'm gonna put that there. And then let's go to the stamping ones. See, I have this, I'd like to put that Santa there. No, I'd like him on a, something tall and narrow. Boy, do I get myself into a mess. No, let's stay, stay on the, on track. I'm gonna stamp this one. And I'm going to stamp it with green. And I only need a bit of it because I want my stamp just to go here. I don't know how well it will stamp. I haven't used this one before. A bit more. And I don't want to push too hard. Yeah, I want it to be softer. Okay. Good. And I'll put something here now. I put everything on the floor, didn't I, before? Let's just see, because this is slightly bigger. So yeah, you can do them, you can do them um, you know, all non-Christmas and then have a session doing all Christmas or you can do what I'm doing a bit, a bit all over the place. And, um, and, and just putting on whatever. Oh, I think I like that. There we go. I'll just tap you in case those papers swooshing in front of you, um, made you go out of focus. So yeah, I'm sort of stamping more backgroundy sort of things um, on the fabrics. So then there's room to have it like a focal point, put a, put on a focal point. It's midday. So I don't have my room, my window open in my room here, but I have it open slightly in the um, in the where the TV is. Got to remember, we still need to finish them off. Okay, yes, that's fine. With these, I sort of glue from the middle out because with all those little, these little branchy bits, they all would bend. They bend over if you go from out, out in. If that makes sense. Okay. 
not finished yet, but nearly. I just want to clean this. I think I might have used this because I see um, marking on the on the plastic, so I must have used it. Put that back on there. What else did I bring over? Any others? Oh, what are these? I haven't used these yet. I might like that one. This one I might just stamp a bit of script on. If I can find it. Maybe here. And I'm going to use brown. I might even... Oh no, move that one out of the way. Brown, no, blue. Just off sort of to the side and put a little bit over there like that okay that'll do that's that one and now this one can have this in what color Okay, so we've done the stamping, yes, and now we're ready to glue. And then we can finish them off. Yeah, love it. Okay. Here, I think I'm not going to do Christmas. I'm going to attach that there. Nothing too big. Oh, what about this lady? No. We don't have anything big enough. Hmm. 
Mm, I think that's pretty. Okay. I don't actually know. I don't think I have this one in a kit yet. Okay, let's glue that on. I've definitely done this before, um, this sort of thing before. I can't remember how long ago though. Right, so not all of them are backed, so maybe we'll just complete. I don't want to complete those. Oh, well, I can. Um, probably should back them before I finish them, although that doesn't need too much on it, actually. So what I'm going to finish them off with is a bit of textile, some like a bit of lace, or I'm just going to pull all down my mess and see what I can use here. Just all different bits of lacy bits. That won't, not on there. What about here? What do I have here? Where are my, where are my scissors here? I actually think I would like half of that. So I moved my glue book away like I don't need it anymore, but I do. Put that there. Yep, that's it. And then I'll come back and staple it in a minute. We'll just get them all going. Put on that one. That one, I like it. So the glue is just to hold it in place until I staple it. Pulled it all. I'm in such a mess. I really need to tidy up. I'm not going to obviously use this fabric because um, it's the same as what I stamped on. Yes, I might put that on the side. Okay, oh, I didn't bring it in. I did get some, um, another trim, similar to the, the this trim, but I got it in, I think in the ready color. That, that's what I wanted to use and I didn't bring it in. I might leave those and go and get it. Let's see if I can use this. I want to use that on that one. No. I'm just going to put that there. Just off the side like that. Okay. Here. Sorry about the mess, guys. I, I don't know if you can see my mess, but it's a big mess. Hmm. I quite like that. I finally found a home for it. Let's look at this one here.
think I'm going to have it off to the side like that. Yes, there. Okay. I need to go and get the other one for those. Oh yeah, I think I like that one on there too. No, this one I'm going to punch a hole and I think I would like some twine in there. That's another nice idea. We'll do a couple like that. This one. Okay, we'll put those aside. We're nearly there, guys. Um, I think I would like a little bit of something lacy didn't want that lacy um, no no maybe not Maybe twine in that one as well, because there's not a lot of room. I'm just going to back them afterwards. And then I, I was going to use the red one of that, but I'll just use this, just so I don't have to go out in there and get it and stop the camera and, and you know, join videos together. I'm just going to use this. So this one's just going to have a little piece going off the side then I actually really do like that getting low on glue use this piece there and then here same thing I'm going to put it down there Okay, so then for these, I'm going to grab my stapler and staple it, and it's done. So that's that one. I might snip the corners. I didn't do that. That one. Here I'm going to put some twine in. Um, I think I just want jute twine. I've got to be my drawer here. I just pull it up. oh my gosh the thought of having to tidy up all this mess now this is a bit thin so I just have to be careful not to pull it out but I love that look um, this one the same I mean you could put the baker's twine in or some lace through there if you want to I'm just using this because it's what I have available to me so stamping on fabric or before or after creating your tag or journal card shape and then just putting a focal point on just one Bit of a production line isn't it thank you stapler for cooperating there and uh, there we go there they are and i love them okay so let's first look at the non-christmas ones to clear out all the mess i'm sorry guys so non-christmas are these very cute this one and the rest of Christmas so we did five five of those and I think six what's that one? Oh, that's Christmas six Christmas and five non Christmas but really cute really nice little additions to the um, doc and I'll put some paper on there to um, really nice additions to the document journals these and of course I've got my document journal 
Christmas kit, so I will be doing document journal. I love that one. It might be one of my faves. Absolutely love that. Oh, I love them all. Love that too. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit um, different for today, but super fun. And you can see how much we got made in, um, I don't know how long my video is, probably an hour actually. Um, but really, really enjoyed that. And we'll definitely be making sure I've got more. Um, always got one so I, I have a sample and I just wanted to show these were the ones I made when I was looking at the pictures of mums this was a piece of um, fabric that I had printed some of my ephemera on so that's another idea you could print um, ephemera pages on fabric and then use them as backgrounds and then glue other bits on and then that one there with the 1600s paper there see the wormy paper I just glued it all to the back of the fabric and then folded up the fabric and um, and then put the little fellow there. So I hope you enjoyed that and have a wonderful Friday. Is it Friday today? I think it is. And I will see you again soon. Bye.